inside and keeping cozy, but you may not be the only one going a bit stir crazy. So here with DIYs to keep the family busy is Monique Taylor Yee. <laughs> DIYs, and this is you. really nice depending like uh, on your skill level, uh, you know, the DIY person in your house perhaps can help you through it for the ones that are a little bit younger, right. but these are beautiful because we're going to start with a gorgeous DIY um, phone case. Yes. So I want them to see um, mm -hmm. the, the one you made, which I would have paid a good amount of money for. Well, this is it, <laughs> So right. this right here. Isn't that beautiful? It's like that marbled it's gorgeous. pie dye effect. Yes. And you would never guess that it was made with nail polish. Nail polish. Nail polish. Oh my gosh. Something okay. that you have hanging around the house. And you know, for the holidays, maybe a lot of people got cell phones. Or yes. if you, you know it's a new year, you want to change things around. You want to get yourself a new phone case. Right. So I went to, I actually went to my local dollar store. Mm-hmm found some very inexpensive phone cases. Oh, you could actually also use, even if you already have a phone case and you want to like jazz it up a bit, you mm -hmm. could actually reuse your old one as well. No problem in doing that. And so what I did at first is I just used some painter's tape mm -hmm. and I wrapped it around the edge. Yeah. Because I want, for this particular one, I want to get a clean edge. Okay. Okay, and so what you do, you take wax paper, mm -hmm. take one sheet, and then you're gonna place it on there. And then here's where the magic happens. So I'm going to give you some nail polishes. Okay. And what you can do is you can just drizzle along. You don't even- You want me to do the first drizzle? Yes, do the first drizzle. Don't even worry about it. It okay. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Uh, Cause it's not gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, you could take another color and okay. do that. And leave it, oh boy. A lot oh, okay, came out. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, tip it a little bit. I find like that is helpful as well. Okay, just a little bit of black. Black, yep. And then a blue. Well, this was gonna match my dress, but now the blue's gonna screw it up. <laughs> oh, that's no, okay. It. We'll and you have what? a little touch of color. No worries, no worries at all. And Ooh, then you that's just pretty, keep on, the more you use, actually, the better. Really? Yeah, the more you use, the okay. better. It gives all it right. a nice, and you can even layer them. Yeah. That's not even a problem at all. Here, I'll. I'll one. put a little bit. Oh boy. No worries. Okay. okay. Do a little black here on the end. Yeah. Or, see, I'm like, and yeah. do I want, like, do we want to sort of use up the whole thing, like have no clear space? Yeah, like oh, if it's okay. good to, you can have a little bit of clear space, but okay. the more you cover, the better. It will give come you a through, nice blue. effect. Right, come through, brew. And there you go. what you can do is use your toothpick. So grab a toothpick. Okay. And what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to kind of do this streaking effect. You kind of see these sometimes. I like food. I like sweets. Yes. Desserts. Yeah. So you take it and you kind of like just streak that down like oh, that. Oh, I like love so, how that looks. Right? Very cool. Oh, you could give it a try. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Okay. And so the next thing we do is you take your other sheet of wax paper mm -hmm. and then press it down. I love the smell, smell of nail polish. I know, right? You could do it. You could spread it a little. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Spread it out. You, and you could feel the nail polish. And where yeah. you see your clear spots, you could just move the nail polish around to cover it. Like over here. Exactly, exactly. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Because it, it moves really well. Exactly. Which and is maybe why this works better than, I don't know, if you were to use certain paints. Like nail exactly. polish is really good. Do it's we care about thick. the bubbles? No, no, not at all. It's all part of the art. Exactly. And then you could go ahead actually and lift it, actually and lift it. Don't rip it too hard, but just right. gently lift it up. Oh, it might have all smudged. Yeah, but, there but that you was go. all part of it. Yeah. It's all intentional. And That's there lovely. it is. Put your wax paper away. You could even use it use it on another phone case if totally. you like as well. And then, and then another that you can do it as well is I like to call it a tie dye effect. Okay. Okay. And so you're gonna just drop that in, drop it in just all over. I see. Oh, that's a nice color. And you can that's use multiple deep. colors. Okay. And just dip it in. Oh, oh, so cool. Yeah. That you could why that you could do for, and this is great for the family as yeah. well. And you know it's the the holidays. You're yeah. new. It's a new year. You want to kind of make things new. Make things new. Wall art. Make your own Find art. Find an easy wall art. And this is actually using wall decals. Gorgeous. So I love using. I love using. I love the big peonies. Everybody yes. loves the flowers. And Urban Walls are a great company that has these massive peonies, and they okay. also have mini ones as well. So ones as well. So to 
do a couple of them. And for these, you could use your standard canvas at the art store. Yeah. Or you could paint your can paint your candle you have at your home. I'm just gonna put this under here because I'm freaking out. I'm afraid you're gonna like <laughs> get nail lean. polish on me. Yeah, lean on the That's nail fine. polish. That's the nail fine. polish. Okay. So you would take your flower mm -hmm. and then you would position it anywhere you'd like. You can get it randomly. Random is, is nice because that is, is nice to nice layer effect. Yeah. It looks uh, lush and full. Exactly. And, and then you keep on pressing down once you've found the position of your flower. Oh, it's that easy, huh? And then just rip. That's so cool. It off. So you don't have to cut it exactly around the flower. No. You just like sort of, you know, roughly uh, go around it and then exactly. put it down. And a tip that I have as well, and I use this with all of my decal project, yeah. use some tape as you're cutting out your shapes, position your flowers, put some painter's tape down, yeah. and then if you're fine with the position, then you start sticking them down. Because then it. you have the opportunity to shift yes. and change it if you need you to. You want to know how it looks. Exactly. I love what you did here. So yeah. you put the big, this is just one big peony. One big flower, yes. And then all of these little dots yes. uh, she the stuck The random on. dots, exactly. And this is kind of giving Love you that, that effect. And then I just took a paintbrush yeah. and just did a couple of streaks first to give it a little bit of color yeah. and then had some fun. This is good. You know, I think I'm going to put this one in my daughter's room. You absolutely should. Because, you know, it's it goes beautiful. with the pink and everything. So, yeah, something great for the entire family. Go to cityline.tv for all the DIYs and the info from today's show. Thanks, Monique.